Hey, good morning, everybody. We're down in southern Utah getting a shed hunt in today and certainly hoping we can get on the board. We are in a new county, a county that I've never found a shed in. Slept in the Jeep last night, got a good night's sleep. It was a beautiful night last night. The stars were incredible. But here's where I'm heading up to. Just give you a little peek. Beautiful morning. So I'm going to climb that black kind of volcanic rock to the left of all the red rock and get up on top and see what we can find. Got a couple little boulder fields to kind of navigate through. We're about halfway to the top. Here's looking out over the valley. Beautiful morning. I think the temperature is supposed to be like 52 or 53 down here today. We got all the way up on top. It's not very wide up there. It's pretty narrow, but I worked it back and forth, back and forth. There's just no sign up there. So I drop back down. And I'm going to glass this bench below me. I don't want to hike down into it unless I see th see something because I want to get back on the, the west, or excuse me, yeah, west-facing slopes where there's no snow. But man, look at that bowl back in here. What a pretty spot. So anyway, I'm going to glass this flat up here, kind of this bench below me you see below me for a while. And if I don't see any antlers, then I'm going to drop back behind me and start losing elevation. Get back in the area where I was seeing a little more sign. So snack time today. Peanut butter crackers. I haven't eaten since yesterday afternoon, so I got a few get a few calories in me. I'm just working down this old wash. Cool little hoodoos back in here. That one's got an arch in it. You can see it's got a hole that goes all the way through to the other side. That's really cool. Awesome stuff. Oh, there's another one. I can see sky through at the top too. There's another little hole at the top. There's a couple more up there. I don't know if you're able to see it on the GoPro, but man, <laughs> that one hoodoo's got just the skinniest, tallest point on it on the top. What a really cool little canyon this is back here. Still not seeing any sign though. I just, there's just not a lot of game up in here. And I'm just hoping this doesn't go to a waterfall here at the end of this and cliff me out or I'm gonna have a long way back around. <laughs> so hopefully it's gradual when it comes out on the other side. I'm heading to another spot to hike this afternoon. Just was not seeing any sign, very little sign at that last spot. It's a beautiful hike, not a great place for shed hunting, at least not in the little canyon I was in. But I thought I'd stop for you Wild West fans. This is Butch Cassidy's childhood home. So I'm coming in on Circleville, Utah. There you can see some information. $2,000 reward and that would have been a heck of a lot of money back then.
cool. Not much to it. Got a couple little picnic tables out here. All right, guys, well, there you go. Butch Cassidy's childhood home. There's a place down on the San Rafael Swell, which I've done some videos down in the swell. There's a place down there where he has engraved his name in the rocks. It's, I'm pretty sure it's dated too. He dated his name, so I've been to that before. This is the first time I've ever stopped here. I've driven by this little place before, but I hadn't stopped. So anyway, we're gonna get back in the Jeep and see if we can get back on the mountain somewhere and find some sheds. <laughs> Seems like I've been saying that an awful lot lately and not doing it. <laughs> well guys, I'm either getting really faked out by a stick shed or I've got a monster three up there. Of course, I'll walk up on it and it'll be a stick or it won't be as big as I think, but I swear that's a shed. We'll come around here through this tree, see if we can see it. Definitely a shed. Sweet. Big three, pretty three. Awesome, thank you, Lord. There it is, guys. Not massive. I mean, I said big three, it's not huge, but. Can't tell it, that's hard wide, I would guess. I don't think that's this year's. Still in really good shape, though. Oh, sweet. So guys, we were in Paiute County. Never found a shed in Paiute County before, so we get to knock off another county today on the Utah 29 shed tour. And I'm just happy to be off the skunk train. <laughs> like I was second guessing that. I mean, it looked like an antler for sure, but man, it's just been a while since I found one. So anyway, thank you Lord for helping us to find that. So we're not going to go away empty-handed today. We're not going to get skunked. We're going to crisscross back up in through here and see if we can maybe find the other side. So we just found the one shed, but at least we didn't get skunked and we got to check off a new county. So that's a great day. Drop down into this little wash for the hike out. I've got well, probably a mile and a half left to the Jeep. And we're going to hit the road and get home. Thanks for coming along today, guys. I haven't decided yet if I'll do the minute on the mountain uh, while I'm hiking out or if I'll just do it when I get home. So stay tuned for the channel shout out and the minute on the mountain. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up the video with the minute on the mountain and the channel shout out. The channel that I want to shout out is Becca Where to Go Next. She has some awesome footage, a lot of hikes in the Sierra Nevadas around the Lake Tahoe area, some great hikes on the coast. Uh, she's got a hikes of uh, Death Valley, you name it, she's probably been there, but she does a great job capturing the beauty of the scenery around her, so check her out when you get some time. And then for the Minute on the Mountain today, I just wanna talk a little bit about, about the crucifixion with Good Friday coming up. You know, I was just reading in Matthew today where Jesus is on the cross, he's about to take his last breath and he says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So in that moment when Jesus took our sins upon himself on the cross, God turned away from him. And that perfect relationship they had enjoyed from all eternity past was severed. And he did that for you and he did that for me. So it was the worst of Fridays for him. But we call it Good Friday because it was because of that, because he took our sins upon himself and when we place our faith in him, we get to trade our sins for his righteousness. So I encourage you, this video is going to release all oh, about two weeks ahead of Easter. But go get connected somewhere to a local church this year, Easter weekend, and hear the greatest news ever told. Thanks for coming along, guys. Thanks for all your support. 
we're starting to push towards 600 subscribers and we hit 600 we'll do another giveaway so stay tuned for that as we get a little bit closer have a great day